All right, so we've given it our our test pull. I'm going to spray some alcohol underneath here. squeegee here. We're down there. A little pull here. We're gonna trim this right up where, where it goes underneath. Do a little trim down there. finger squeegee action there. Then I'm going to manage these, manage these fingers that were here by bringing them up through here. And what this does is this, I'm taking any excess film and I'm kind of spreading it out. Got that down. This looks good here. And I want this to wrap around back through here, but it's not going to really want to do it with this film down here. So I'm going to take a knife and I'm going to cut this. I'm going to cut it down low here. So I'm not going to cut on the car. I'm going to cut this down low here and just kind of trim that away. So now I have less film to try to manage. We'll get that to go, I wanted to roll there, get that to roll inside of there. And there's a natural seam right in here, and this is where I'm going to make my cut, is in this natural seam. So we'll put a little tack back here, press it down with my finger, and the heat from my finger should help hold that on there. And if we have some issues, we can take a little heat. Hit it with a little heat. And it's just about there. So I've got just ever so slight fingers right here. Get those to lay down. There is a, a chip right there, and trying to touch up that would have been a nightmare. Okay, so we're going to cut this uh, bottom piece here, snap a fresh blade, and I'm just going to follow this body line here or this body edge here. Spin this around so you can see this here, and there's that natural, it's not natural, but it's a, a seam that's right inside of here. When you have areas like this, and you don't want to cut out like that, you can take your knife and run your knife out a little bit, like so, and start where you want it to cut, and you can roll this around. I'm going to have to do this from the top here. So, now I've got a nice kind of rounded cut there. I'm going to start up here where the seam's at up here. Actually, the seam is right here, but I don't want to run it right there. I want to run it back here. So I'm just going to follow this right around to the inside here, taking it to there. And then this here. Gonna follow 
around to the bottom. Like so. And then, whoop, to get this to lay down, we're going to kiss it with a little heat and use one of these towels. This torch gets extremely hot really fast, so... Extremely hot, extremely fast. Make sure all of our stuff is locked down here. And then we can move to the top. I'm going to take my knife, and you can hold it like a pencil if you want. Hold it like a pencil, you can grab it like that and really fight it, but holding, I, I find sometimes holding it like a pencil is, is a little bit smoother. I've got really shaky hands, so I'm going to start at the bottom down here, and I'm just going to follow this edge. to change positions here. Got to the end there. We'll pull this back. And then again I kiss it with a little heat. Now the reason why I like to do mirrors, uh, all mirrors like this, if you've ever had a pattern, and let me put some uh, slip solution on this piece of excess film here. So you have a pattern and it may be pre-cut to, to sit on here. So you start out over here and then you go and stretch it. And when you get it on there, you're, to get it to actually work, this may be lined up over here, but then you go to stretch it and the film gets kind of stretched out a little bit and you end up with something that's uneven and typically looks like like that so it's uh, bowed out here and then it might fit over here or might be overstretched over here and you have to trim this a little bit so as it all dries it might might not look bad on a light colored car and you might not see it until it gets dirty and then you see this kind of cattywampered edge right here so doing it this way you eliminate having say uh, a seam here or a seam up here you stretch it a little bit and then when you hand trim it along here you have a nice straight edge that matches that edge there you can go a step further if you want and when you cut it instead of cutting it right on top you can cut back into here into this valley and you're not really cutting on the paint you're kind of the blades kind of riding in between the two pieces here uh, and the only, really the only damage you can do is if you just jam this thing in there and bury it and drag it across there and then you're sh you know kind of shaving paint off the sides but you drop this in there and just nice and gently just run it across and you can actually see I'm pulling I'm pulling dirt out of that or wax or something you can see little bits of wax there um, so that's another way you can do it the risk you run into is is uh, trying to get this to fold over and lay down in there so if we do it this way we know it's going to stick we know we're not going to have any problems with an edge peeling back if you overstretch it then yeah you're going to have a problem with an edge peeling back and there are different ways but because this mirror has uh, a body line here and it's flat and it goes this way and wraps around this way and underneath here and it goes underneath around this way it's going to be hard, but there are ways that you can actually pull the film in a direction that's going to make the film want to roll into body seams when you trim it. And then when you kiss it with a little heat, it really wants to stick in there. 
But in, in this case, I'm not gonna, I'm, I couldn't do that. 